Okay. This is what's called the Dan Bong, or short snapping stick, also called a bone breaker. It is about a one inch diameter hardwood rod that is roughly the length of the forearm, okay? Now some schools will hold it by the center like this with the end of the stick coming out of each side of the fist, others by the end. I'm partial to those with the lanyard at the bottom. Some will use this to whip it like a nunchuck. I don't much care for that in practical application for reasons I've explained in my blog. But I do like that it wraps around the fist like so, making it very difficult to disarm, gives you a good solid grip, and you still have the end for hammer fist strikes. Now, the key to using this thing effectively is difficult to see in videos, which is why I'm taking the time to try to do this up close. And it's in this little circular motion right here, making a small circle with the stick when you strike. Now, when you do this, you do this very quickly, okay? You snap it. It's the reason it's called a short snapping stick. You wanna use this to target bony portions of the anatomy, such as the knuckles, okay? The wrist bone, especially the tip right there, or the sides of the arm, the elbow, okay? Ow, it really hurts. <laughs> and all it takes is a little snap, all right? That little snap, when you strike, is more likely to shatter the bone than if you were to just come at it strong and try to hit it hard, okay? It's the reason why this is good for use in soft style or circular style martial arts, because we are already training ourselves to think in terms of small circles. Now these same small circles are what you use when you're doing wrist locks, okay, and joint manipulations. Small circles, it's always these little circles that make the world of difference in these circular style and soft style martial arts. And that's why this stick, though it is a hard weapon, is still used in a soft circular style. It is deceptively strong and dangerous. Practice with them cautiously, okay? If you're going to use it, use it without an opponent first, practicing the forms, and then very carefully and gently on an uke or a training partner who knows what they're doing, okay? But this is the Dan Bong or short snapping stick. It's one of my favorite weapons and one that I've just done some videos on showing some basic techniques. I'd like to get into some more advanced techniques later on, but for now I wanted to just explain the simple idea and concept behind how it is used.